Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Prof. It's been a little while since I've done another product review, so uh, we're back at it. Uh, recently, I reviewed a uh, product, a new product by my longtime partner, First Endurance. Uh, that was just the standard EFS. Today, I'm going to start a review on uh, the their newest product, EFS Pro. They've been quite busy lately. They've released EFS. Uh, a revamped version of EFS Pro recently, and they'll be releasing a new gel coming out shortly, and then uh, a product that I can't tell you about just quite yet, but there's uh, a lot in the works. Um, there's been a number of changes there. Um, so today I'm going to start the discussion on their new EFS Pro and really what the differences are between EFS and EFS Pro. There are a number of differences, including the electrolyte composition, that the source of the actual calories. Um, but today I'm going to simply focus on the newest change because it deserves its own video because it's uh, a quite uh, groundbreaking and really on the forefront of the, uh, the research world. They've recently added Pharma GABA to uh, EFS Pro. So we talked about L-theanine uh, primarily in the review of EFS that is still in the EFS Pro, but it, there's also Pharmagaba in there as well. So we need to cover what is Pharmagaba and why is it in uh, this new product. And so there's a lot to go over, so let's dive right into it. So Pharmagaba is an amino acid, and anybody with a ninth grade biology education will tell you that an amino acids are used as building blocks of protein. They left this part out uh, in most ninth grade biologies, but some amino acids actually don't go to the construction of protein. This GABA actually goes to support the nervous system. GABA is the primary neurotransmitter in the brain and throughout the rest of the body. Previously, GABA was thought to have zero bioavailability. What that means is it can't really be absorbed by the gut. It can't cross the gut wall if you consume it. So uh, consuming it would be a recipe for expensive urine. However, new studies have shown that not only can it cross the gut barrier, but it can also cross the blood brain barrier, which actually means it can be used as an effective supplement. However, it's not going to be done in a way that's enough for it to actually affect the brain in, a, in an acute situation, okay? So the new studies have shown that GABA, long-term GABA supplementation may support neurotransmitter and brain health uh, for a number of different reasons. However, this is in a performance product, right? So we need it to cause an effect immediately, right? So if it can't get enough into the bloodstream or across that blood brain barrier to cause a long or to cause a short term effect why would they put the product in the EFS pro well what new studies have actually shown is that it doesn't have to actually be absorbed gaba is actually created by the gut and so when the pharma gaba is consumed it augments the gut's producing ability and it also sends signals to the brain, which can directly affect the brain. So being it can affect the brain directly, we can see an actual acute response. So there is a benefit to having it be in a, a beverage for the short term. So I want to keep this video relatively short and so I'm not going to get into the exact science and all the gritty details on what the actual uh, consumption of GABA does inside the body, okay? First Endurance has done a great blog on the topic, and they'll continue to put more information out. I'll link that below, so make sure you check that out, all right? But essentially what it does is it helps the body downregulate, so your anxiety levels are going to be less while your alertness stays relatively high, all right? So that's a good thing when we're exercising. When we're really tense, uh, for one, we can't absorb calories, right? The more tense that we get, the less our stomach is able to work, right? We take blood flow away from the stomach, put it towards the, the tense areas, and we also, when we're tense, it puts pressure on that vagus nerve. 
that's going to further reduce the vagus nerve, sorry, is going to innervate the gut. All right. So that's going to further inhibit our body's ability to absorb these calories. All right. So just off the bat, that one little thing can actually help us feed our speed, which is one mantra that I have with me at all times. It's constantly feeding uh, the speed throughout the race. The recent studies that show that it can actually affect the body in an acute situation, as well as cross the blood brain barrier, are going to cause uh, GABA to start uh, becoming more and more popular. When I talked about the video with sun theanine uh, on the EFS, we talked a lot about uh, how the trend now in research is to find performance enhance enhancement, one through sleep and two through factors that directly affect the brain. So this combination, the L-theanine and the pharma GABA together can definitely affect the brain. There's li literature and research that shows that it can, okay? So what does that mean? Why is that important? All right, so if you look at the things that limit or that are going to affect your performance or limit performance, bonking, for example, running out of calories, tired muscles, pain, uh, lactate production, all those things, the body sends a signal from the muscles, fr from the working muscles to the brain, and the brain decides what to do with it. So if you are, if your brain is then going to make a conscious or subconscious decision on what to do with that information. So if you're better, in, if your brain is in a better state, if your nervous system is more downregulated, there's a much better chance that you can consciously overwrite the body's or the brain's wanting to tell the body to slow down. All right. And basically it can help you live the cliche mind over matter and have a better performance. That's what I have for you this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you do, give me a like and hit the subscribe button. That helps me out and helps other people see this video as well. I'll be doing a few other videos here in the future. I'll be doing at least one more video reviewing um, the other aspects of the EFS Pro. Uh, as I said, there are a lot of things going on, a lot of differences between this and their EFS, as well as every other drink on the market, and it deserves a little bit of attention. I'll also have a few race videos coming up in the near future. We have, we're finally returning to somewhat regular schedule with races. So I'm excited to get back to the races. And then we'll also have some more day in the life content for you soon. So uh, again, hit the subscribe button so you can uh, see all the new things I've got coming out for you. Any questions, comments, anything you want to see covered in the future, leave them in the comment section below. Until next time.